Religion free deist. Christianity destroyed? No. Christianity alive and well in the world. <clears throat> you judge Christianity by what you see in a uh, yoke up stickum room with Jeff, Caroline, prodigal child, I think it's her husband, Mackie Moo, and maybe somebody else. <laughs> They claim they have the only truth of Christianity and anybody that doesn't believe in their teachings and there's others, Christopher L., another brother Mark, Jerome Stein, there's a whole list of them that will cast a Christian, believer in, the, in, in God, a believer in Jesus Christ, it will cast him into the outer darkness as if they were God himself making a judgment simply because you don't believe in their uh, teachings of a place called hell. And that seems to be what this is all about, the, the, the age of accountability, whether or not people will be thrown into this place called hell because uh, they don't believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. See, that's the, that that just blows the whole thing out of the water there because you're, the punishment, if, if not believing, is something that don't exist anyway. The punishment does not exist anyway. This hell does not exist. The wicked go to destruction. You say that Christians believe that... Uh, uh, the, light, the, the, the soul lives on eternally, either in heaven or hell. Uh, I think a good study of this book right here will prove that that is not the teachings of God, not the teachings of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the soul gains immor uh, immortality through the belief soul does not have immortality it goes into destruction is it, the wicked are like candles that are blown out they cease to exist how can immortality be something that the soul has when Adam and Eve were cast out of the garden Guards were put around the tree of life so lest they come in and eat it and live forever. But anyway, this the Christians that uh, claim that you either believe as they do in their uh, pagan hell are the ones that have influenced people like you because you, you believe in it or you are you know I went into yoke up stickum room and man I was called demonic Satan worshiper Jeff himself has even called me Satan uh, Caroline made a video recently about how uh, she knows she's of God because people are calling her demonic and 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 are accusing her of all kinds of things but if you, if you go into their room they do those very same things to you you know I went in uh, didn't didn't accuse or attack but man I was certainly uh, attacked and I'm glad they're letting you stay in there sorry you uh, no longer believe in the truth of the Bible. The age of accountability seems to come up in the Old Testament where in the wilderness all those that were under the age of 20 when the transgressions were made against God they're the ones that made it to the promised land. All those over that age died and didn't see it. 
21 was the age where you could become part of their uh, military, go to war. Uh, I think it was 21 that you had to be to work in, in the temple, and 30 was the age you had to be to be a priest, as Christ was. You know, Christ was baptized, went into the wilderness for 40 days to be tempted, and then he began his ministry, and, and, and uh, you can pretty much date that all the way back to when he was born on December the 25th. Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't think that Christianity should be deemed as being destroyed because uh, you can pick holes in all these believers' beliefs of, of uh, people who haven't heard the gospel going to go to hell or uh, and you know Charles Stanley is not my favorite preacher he believes in hell <laughs> but you know it makes a lot of sense but his answer to this God is merciful good and just and the revelations I think tells us that those that were judged were judged according to their works. And I could claim Jesus Christ all day, but if I went out and killed, steal, and rob, uh, just by claiming Jesus doesn't cover up the way I truly am. If we were to go to some of these tribes that have never heard the gospel, I believe it would be evident to us whether or not these people were good or evil people. And I think that's uh, what they would be judged on, not simply because they haven't heard the gospel. Uh, in, in, in scriptures in the New Testament, Jesus said, it was, he commissioned his apostles to preach the gospel to the entire world. And then there's many verses that say that the gospel was preached to every creature, the entire cosmos, the whole world. I believe we're talking of a specific area there, and, and I have a fourth video coming out on my series on when shall these things be that talks in a little more depth about uh, the gospel being preached to the entire world but I don't think we can judge Christianity by those claiming to be Christian that would actually send children with birth defects people just because they haven't heard the gospel people such as that into this fiery hell that does not exist to begin with I, I see many uh, people on YouTube that are turned away by Christians who have a certain amount of wickedness in their hearts and they justify it by saying God can do what he wants to do I think that's uh, evil but hey man Christianity lives not destroyed Alive and well in this world, this creation of God. Amen, brother.